internet world. Welcome back to Planet Dying, you know. Here we are. I look different. I'm trying to grow my hair down to my ankles, so dark is healthier and it looks better. Let's move on. I'm gonna do a from straight from bed, where I just came from, to bad, streets bad, in about 10 minutes. So this is my go-to uh, look for anything when I'm in a hurry and I don't want to spend 10 hours and I want to look real bad. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna ignore my dark circles because they don't get any better. And then we're gonna ignore my bushy brows because I haven't gotten them done in like two weeks. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the Anastasia Brow Wiz and then you drop it. Always drop it right away. And I'm just filling in the holes. I'm not doing too bold of a brow because my eye makeup is gonna be pretty simple. And then I tend to look kind of angry when I don't have much on my eyes and my brows are like Then I'm going to use the Anastasia Dip Brow Duo in Ash Brown because I saw Manny MUA use it and I'm a copycat. And yes, my brows look terrible until I clean them up. Okay, they are somewhat similar. I'm gonna then be cleaning them up. I'm gonna be using Shape Tape Light Neutral. Wow, the power of cleaning up your brows. Holy Jesus. I have a scar right there that's not very easily covered. So, I have to go over it multiple times because it hates my guts. It hates my guts. Okay. I covered up the veins on my lids. Uh, with the same concealer I used to clean up my brows, so Tarte Shape Tape. Now I'm going to be using the eyeshadow palette from Colourpop. You had me at Hello. I got this in a boxy charm a little a while ago, um, and I'm going to be using this because I can't afford another palette because I'm broke. No, I'm not kidding. Then I'll be using a Morphe Y18 brush, and I'm going to be putting this color here all over my eye. Literally, no rhyme or reason to this. And yes, I did not set my concealer because I want it to still be tacky because then I get more pigmentation and longer wear out of any eyeshadow. Do the same thing on the other side. This is quite a messy look. It's just a really buffed out, very like blown out look. Not a cut crease, nothing like that. Go back and forth. What is it that YouTubers call this? Windshield wiper. I get it. I'm gonna grab this other color that looks very similar to this one, but is a little warmer and a little darker, and place that pretty much all over my lid. So I am gonna connect it where that other color ended in the crease, and then I'm gonna put this in the entire lid. Do that on the other side. Tug your eye, give yourself wrinkles in the future. Join me. I'm gonna grab this color here. So it's almost like a pinky brown. Dip that in, and then I'm gonna focus it just in the outer corner right here. So I'm just gonna first pat it in. And then right here. 
でね Okay, I'm gonna bring that in just a little bit. Making my lids look a little more deep set and not so hooded. Because I want to really hood it. Okay. Perfect. Now, when I'm in a real, real, real hurry, little hurry, yes. When I'm in a real hurry, I don't do a wing. I'm not in a hurry today. I'm gonna do a wing. Let's try. Okay, something like that. Cover all the freckles. And then I'm going to be using a big fluffy brush from e.l.f., the 101 brush. And I'm just going to pat it specifically on the outer areas where I'm going to put like bronzer and blush because that's the only reason I'm doing it because I don't want like this foundation sets really well but I'm still paranoid. So yeah, paranoia. Okay, then I'm going to go with bronzer, the uh, Too Faced Milk Chocolate which has been well loved and I'm going to bronze up
blushy blush time. I'm going to be using I Will Always Love You from Too Faced on a very dirty uh, brush. For blush, I'm going to be using the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea 2 blush oh, highlight in the shade. I'm going to go with Daylight, this broken color here. And I can't find it. The brush I'm using is a Morphe E27 that I bought originally for my eyeshadow, but my eyes are too small for it unless I'm going for specific looks, so I don't use it. Instead, I use that for highlight. I apparently don't want to apply highlight today because I keep calling it bronzer and blush and all sorts. Anyway, it's really pretty. For lip liner, I am going to be using For lip liner, I'm going to be using Lancome Charm Cosmetics Diva Lashes, which are like my favorite. If you know me in real life, you should know this. Now you just need to change into something that's not PJs. Okay, so to complete this, just put something on black or anything in general because this look will match literally anything and everything you could possibly wear. Um, but I just chose black because I look cool in black. So anyway, um, I hope you liked this video. I'm sorry for being really at my... Um, I'm going to try to be more active on here. I just made a life change. So I want to focus on the things that I used to focus on and I don't focus on anymore. And I'm just miserable because I'm not focusing on. <laughs> so anyway, if you like this video and you want to continue to hear from me, if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. I know YouTube recently added a little bell for notifications. Um which would help me if you got notifications, so if you want to do that too. If you want to go ahead, you can also follow me on Instagram. I post there pretty much on the daily. And Snapchat, the links are going to be right down below or the usernames will be on the screen as well. Um, so yeah, anyway, it was nice to be back. It's nice to be back. Sorry for being so awkward as usual, um, but that's what you get with me. So anyway, bye.